Hey Scorpio, welcome to your February 2023 reading. Uh, we're just going to do short readings this month um, just to kind of see like overall what we're dealing with. Uh, I wanted to ease back into doing the readings every month instead of killing myself with like these hour long intricate things. So maybe someday we'll get back to that, but this is where we are. So uh, I do have a Saturn in Pisces reading available as Saturn will be moving into Pisces on March 7th. Um, this will be very helpful for you, especially if you have Pisces placements or you are starting your Saturn return. Um, so that's available and I have other readings. My February calendar is open. So if you don't want to get a Saturn reading, but you do want to get a reading with me, they're all available. You can check out my website. That information is in the description box. And if you want to get a further reading, um, more of February to see other themes that you might be working with, go check out the six month readings. I did the January through June 2023 readings for all the signs and the playlist is available. So here we are. I'm a little stuffy today. I hope you guys are feeling well. Surrender. We're going to do surrender cards. I forgot to say that. So we're work. I work with these power of surrender cards often these days. I love them because it's true that we all have to surrender to something. Every day we're surrendering to things. Um, it's just sort of a natural part of our existence. So surrender your attachment to results, Scorpio. The formula for success is to do all you can to quote unquote, make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. So if something's not happening fast enough for you, sorry for the glare. I'm not really sure if there's a good spot. Hopefully you can see it better on the video. Anyway, pretty bright in here today. So um, if you are really waiting for something to happen in your life and you are driving yourself crazy waiting for it, this is going to help ease that tension for you, the surrendering, the attachment to results. Because honestly, every single time I've expected for something to happen the way that I've wanted it to happen and it ends up happening another way, that other way is usually better. Like my own human limitations really can place things into a box. And if I'm like expecting these re certain results and they don't happen that way, um, let me tell you the uh, fits that I used to throw <laughs> Like I used to throw some fits when shit wouldn't go the way that I would want it to go. And then I started to realize that the reason why it wasn't going the way that I wanted it to go is because I didn't know any better. Like there was just so many other possibilities. The world is limitless and it's endless. And we as humans are, we tend to limit ourselves. So surrendering your attachment to whatever is happening in your life right now um, can bring a lot of peace and it can really bring you back to the present moment, to the here and now. I thought I saw that three of swords come out. Okay. So the six of pentacles, the three of swords, and the four of swords. Interesting how this procession has happened here. Uh, I feel like you might have expectations of either a certain experience or a certain person where you were giving a lot of yourself to, like you were giving a lot of yourself to these, to a person or an experience. And the six of pentacles reminds us that if we're giving ourselves to people that aren't giving back to us, like this is a hierarchy system here, right? Like we're giving ourselves and they don't have the capacity. Like that's the thing. It's not about being better than someone else. It's about, do you even have the capacity to give back to me in the same way that I've given to you? And if you don't, does that mean that we're aligned in what we're doing? Or am I just like overspending my energy to make you feel better? 
Three of Swords into the Four of Swords. So I feel like this has hurt your feelings in some way. It's kind of a painful thing. Um, you could be giving to a job. You could be giving to um, a partner or a friendship or whatever it is that you're giving family members. Doesn't matter. If you feel in some way, this feels like expectations and disappointment. That Three of Swords. Sorry, I'll put it over here. I can't get a good shot. It's so shiny in here. Um, yeah, this feels like expectations. And then just every single time we put expectations on someone, we're going to be disappointed in every way. So the Four of Swords is asking you to take a step back and give yourself an opportunity to heal from whatever it was that broke you. Let's clarify. Yeah, like I feel like you were just given a lot of love. And you need to remember to have boundaries. You need to remember that it's, excuse me, you need to remember that you don't have to save anyone. The Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. We'll just leave her over here. So it might be an air sign that you're dealing with. Um, Knight of Cups on the Six of Pentacles. And the Seven of Wands on the Three of Swords. <laughs> My cat's getting in trouble. And then the Nine of, because he just, like, he'll attack your feet. And then you can't walk anywhere. So he gets in trouble. Nine of Wands. We don't want to hurt him. Like, we don't want to accidentally step on him. He's got to learn. Nine of Wands on the Four of Swords. So after, like, here's the thing. It's great to love people, Scorpio. It's great to give love. It's great to give love. But if it's not reciprocal, if it's not coming back to you in some way, this is really hard. You can't just give and give and give and give and give and give and give of yourself. Um, and I feel like that this might have been a progression of pain. Like this is not the first time that you've been hurt. And so with this seven of, of wands on the three of swords, it feels like they're, yes, absolutely put boundaries up. But for some of you, you've placed up walls around your heart. And putting up those walls around your heart are going to keep everybody out. It's even going to keep the people out that want the best for you, that truly have the best of intentions for you. You know? So it's good to have boundaries, healthy boundaries, healthy loving boundaries where you can stay open. I understand though. I understand if you need to shut down. I understand if you don't want to deal with the air sign here, right? And it could even be a, like this could be a work situation too, but it does feel like it has, even if it is a work situation, like it's hurt you emotionally as well. So there's this surrender, right? Surrendering to the attachment of results. So whatever happens in this situation, the nine of wands is the surrender card. If you look at the nine of wands, he has been through the fire. He's been through the war. He's got a bandaged head. Like it's time for him to rest and heal. And that's exactly what these, you know, that's exactly what your guides are telling you right now is it's, it's time to rest and heal. I'm surprised you didn't get the surrender to uh, rest and sleep. I'm surprised you didn't get that card. But it's, you know, this is really February is going to be a time where you might even isolate yourself a little bit, which is fine. Like it's fine to isolate for a little bit. Maybe don't stay in that hole for a long time. Uh, I know Scorpio energy really well. I raised two Scorpio moons and they like to be on their own. Uh, they like to, you know, be in their own energy, in their own space. A lot of times it can get kind of dark, like mentally dark. So um, not beating yourself up. Like this is a surrender in grace. This is a surrender in compassion for self. Okay. So I love you guys. And, you know, I know that you don't want to get hurt again, but I also don't want to see all of these walls just up so you're not open to accepting anybody anybody into your life like you know like we don't want to close it all down 
All right. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.